Thank you so much for tuning in and watching a very special roundtable edition of Samsung Business Television. Today, talking about customization via Knox. So, could you please introduce yourself, sir? Josh Fulton from E Squared. Thank you very much. And you, sir? I'm Adam Shapiro, also from E Squared. Thank you very much. Swell and Yunus, Samsung Business Services. So, can you tell us a little bit about E Squared? You bet. We've been around 18 years. We have about 125 employees. We're based out of Tempe, Arizona. We work with enterprise space customers with software solutions for the enterprise space, solving problems in the area of making it easy to deploy, easy to maintain uh, the life cycle of uh, hardware and software. Okay, so where does Samsung fit into? How do we play with, with E Squared? Samsung provides a consistent experience. The devices work, whether we're talking a, a small uh, smartphone type of device or uh, a tablet device that's going to be installed into a vehicle. Uh, what Samsung allows us to do is make a consistent uh, deployment across all different types of user groups that might use different style of devices. And one of the important parts of that is all the other uh, accessories and behind the scenes uh, things that are important in deploying a customer. There's all sorts of options you have with Samsung devices, and there's also um, software on the Samsung products that are not available on other products. Uh, Samsung Knox is, a, is a quite an amazing portfolio. I think a lot of times it gets um, uh, attached to security. Sure. There's also an entire robust customization uh, platform that is available as well. I want people to know what it is about Samsung Knox, the customization that's so important, because we can solve a lot of problems. When we're putting Knox together and identifying uh, a need and solving that problem. Uh, we took a lot of things into consideration. The enterprise wants the ability to integrate with their existing systems. So Knox is true to its word, customization and customizability, right? And we, we were able to partner with a lot of these EMMs to make sure that our solution works well with that. Um, we're not here to necessarily replace what you have, but just kind of build that integration mechanism, right? And give you access to the core functionality of our devices that you wouldn't get anywhere else, right? Open up these policies and give you, I think right now we're at maybe 1,500 APIs that you have access to, to be able to manipulate this device how you want it to be, right? And we've done that in, in, in the entire, uh, from an end-to-end -end solution, right? Everything from device management to deployment to, to, to the, the, the granu granularity of customization that you'd want, whether or not, whether you'd want uh, something as complex as changing the entire um, functioning of the device, making a single purpose device, or just something along the lines of re reassigning hardware keys, or just limiting access to the system settings, or just manipulating connectivity, whether that's Wi-Fi, that's Bluetooth, that's NF NFC. It gives you the ability to turn this device into exactly what you want. And then Samsung took that and, and built upon that. So again, there is these out of these out of the box solutions, and then there's a customization X SDK which takes you. It's like customization on steroids. There is a misnomer about Knox, or, or everything has to be Knox or not. In my opinion, is that that's probably a loss. People don't understand. You can buy Knox Configure, and you can use that with a complement to what you already have. So I can set up a device with the way I want it set out with restrictions and added security and make that single, single purpose application run in the way I want it to run. And I can also use it in complement with my current environment. So I can actually use another MDM if I wanted to, but at the same time, it allows the setup process to be easy, simple, and consistent when you roll it out every time. Right, yeah. And then it, it also maintains the, the profile and the integrity of that device. So even if that device um, were to be lost or stolen, the moment that device connects back to a Wi-Fi, even if you try to uh, reboot it or, or flash it, um, the moment it, it reloads, it goes back to the original profile. So the, the, the device itself, a customized device, is rendered useless to anybody else but your organization. Specifically with customization, when you say the words customization, I think a lot of people, it conjures up a lot of negativity because they think of cost, crazy lead times, you know, you're looking at like an 18 month, 24 month lead time to get something done. And that just isn't the case anymore. Customization is not this horrible, painstaking, lengthy, expensive process. It's actually been very simplified. So can you speak to a little bit of that about maybe like how some people have seen this and been like, this is not what I thought, this is fantastic. Absolutely. If you've come from a, if you're looking at it from a software perspective, and they're trying to put it on a piece of hardware, in the past, they would literally build a piece of hardware only for a single purpose. That process was six months, two years, long time. And to change it a year into it would take the same amount of time again. Now, within five minutes, 10 minutes time, you can change just the way the way it looks. 
if you want it to be stagnant where they can't actually get outside of an application, they can make but buttons work, not work. You can leave it in a way for security so you can't get out of it and copy and paste content out of it. So it makes the areas of actually trying to customize it simplified. So to me, customization has a different tone nowadays. It feels like it used to be a negative one. Now it's simple and it fits what you need it to do. What it is, it's, it's, it's a custom fit, right? And this idea, gone are the days where you think it's this daunting task. Whatever you need accomplished is already in place in, in the device. The solution, the, the software, the services, how the, design, how the device was designed, R&D took that into consideration, right? And then they, they had foresight enough to think, hey, what do my customers need? Now, with, with this level of customization, it's the equivalent of getting your device jailbroken. But the beauty about it is that warranty is maintained. That's how we stand behind the product itself. We give you the ability to customize it to your level of customization. And when I say customization, again, it can sound like this complex uh, thought process or this idea. But in reality, it goes from anything as simple as, I just want my branding on, this, on the boot up of this device. That could be customization. Customization can also be, I don't want to give my users the ability to power off this device and just deactivating that power button. It can be, customization can be as simple as, I don't want to enable Wi-Fi on this device. If you wanted to go in a completely different direction, right? So say that some of the, the construction companies that you guys work with, if you deployed 10,000 devices and all of a sudden they went, you know what, we're going to do something completely different, but we have these devices. Because they've been customized, you literally can just unenroll them and now they're back to their original state. The flexibility in the area of redeploying new software that comes out, maybe their first version was not the right one, or even a different application altogether, or adding on additional layers. Because it is a smart computer in a way, because you have a, a very powerful device. Oftentimes it's, it's the thought behind it is you bought it for that one single application, but what happens is over time, they want to add four or five other applications on it. With Knox, you can push that application out there, put a, a video on the device to train them, uh, allow extra value added services inside that device that they probably didn't originally intend it, but now they see that, well, it has the breadth to do a bunch more. So you, you see them using it in that way from a customization, not in the beginning only, in the end and the life cycle area of as well. Sometimes, I guess, it's human nature to, to fear what you don't understand. Uh, there's this, this complex thing known as Knox, known as customization. Um, but we do a really good job of explaining that and uh, put the proper resources in place to help educate you. Because that's important, too. Because the more you know about customization, the more you know about Knox, the more you understand how easy that process is. And we've done a good job internally uh, with our Samsung Enterprise Alliance program to give you the ability. It's an online resource. You can register and it gives you ability to download the SDK. There's sample code, there's resources there that you can leverage. There's a contact number, there's emails, there's people to reach out to and have conversations. We have case studies that, that can, one, it gives you the ability to not only see it, but experience it firsthand. Download the, the, the SDK, play with it, and then it'll, get, it'll give you a better understanding. And then at that point, you'll know that maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was, or this, this, this idea of customization is not as daunting as I thought it was. Let's talk a little bit about the actual use cases, though. So specifically, I know you guys do some stuff within construction and transportation. Can you talk a little bit about some of those things? So from a vertical standpoint, we're pretty uh, flexible. We work with transportation, with healthcare, with retail. I'm starting to get into a little bit of, of government and some field service work. Uh, and think about why customers want to deploy. They want to do some solution. And, and sometimes they just want it to do this one thing. Uh, so, for example, they want a driver to be able to record their hours of service while they're driving. But then on a Samsung device, they realize, you know, I got a friend down the road, does the same thing I do. They're doing proof of delivery. Can I do proof of delivery app on my, on my device? Well, well, yeah. Can I take pictures of my vehicle to prove that it's still in good condition or that I, that I delivered your product or signature capture? So they, they, they initially deploy doing this one thing, and then they realize there's 10 different things they can do, and it's, it's nothing but, a, uh, to, to your earlier point, allows them to kind of grow with uh, the Samsung product. Inside construction, the application you most see is the ability to, to cost a project and actually hit that number. And so what you're finding more and more in construction a space. A very important thing to do, by the way. Is it hit the number? <laughs> yeah, hit yeah, the number, yeah. exactly. No, it, it, you, you definitely want to hit the number. So you find that the application most commonly used is project management tools. So they're taking a tablet, a Samsung tablet, they're going on site and they're checking off, making sure that it's actually moving along the project as it is. They're also ordering products, they're ordering and, and actually recording defects. 
They're making sure they're scheduling from that perspective. There's a lot of applications that go into the construction space today that used to be on a laptop. Now it's on a smartphone or it's on a tablet. They're walking on the construction space, actually videoing the progression for the client. So there's a lot of those tools that are today that are evolving in that space. They're also using RFID. They're using other technology to connect assets while on site. So uh, they can do that now with the software application with a combination of Samsung devices and other uh, Bluetooth devices as well. What about uh, like in healthcare? Can you speak to any specificity in healthcare? So in healthcare, you've got a, a moving, it's kind of an emerging element of remote patient care. Um, so it's, it's an emerging market where you have a tablet sitting in a patient's home that is now connected through Bluetooth, through either blood pressure monitors or, or your glucose monitors or any kind of uh, different sensors inside there. They are typically monitoring the health and wellness through an app that's on an, app, an actual tablet that they're literally coming into accepting and, and making a little bit of a questionnaire daily. Are you taking your medications on time? Are you uh, checking your blood pressure? And they're checking it off. They can literally press a button and talk to their doctor through a video conference. Uh, so there are things inside that where they don't want that tablet to now be used anything else. They want to restrict it, so it's just running that application, protecting the patient health information, and that it's operating in the same way every day, day in and day out. Uh, so Knox helps us do that. It allows us to do that on a fly. If they want to modify it or change it, we can do all those things remotely. And if you can imagine a patient that is, say, 65 years of age trying to use a tablet, it may be, look in, kind of intimidating. So they sometimes we get a phone call for support. We can remote into the device, see the device, see what they're doing at, at that moment in time, and fix the problem and show them how to fill out the information. So it allows a lot of flexibility that you, you think of it just as a tool to deliver it's delivering that experience throughout the life cycle of the device. Think about your chronic care patient who generally sees the doctor more than anybody. They might go six or seven times a month. Well, if there's a solution out there where they might only need to go four or five times a month, so if you eliminate 10%, 15% of their doctor visits, hospital saves a lot of money. Lot the, of money. The, the, the patient saves a lot of time. There's nothing but benefit. Are there any other verticals that you guys work in that I'm... I'm not talking about any other great examples of Knox and customization that, that well, we Well, you were mentioning like barcode scanners, the, the warehouse space being now e-commerce being a huge dominant element. There's a combination of things. If you think of a retail experience today and you walk into a store and you're now sometimes interfacing with a, with a, a, a retail employee to buy your wares and they're actually filling it out on a tablet, they're submitting that order, it goes through a warehouse process and then that's fulfilled at a warehouse facility. Oftentimes, all those touches throughout that process is sometimes is actually a Samsung device. Inside the warehouse space, you have barcode scanners now are being transferred over. They want to get more information over, over a device. They want to fill out information in barcode scan. So you're seeing it in the warehouse space, the retail space, transportation space, commonly using all, what they referred to as off-the-shelf devices. Right. And now they're putting them into these environments because they have, it allows them a lot more flexibility in the software space of it. Customization is huge. All these things are mobile devices. Anything in mobile, you have to have security. Can you talk about the security aspects of this? When everyone else approaches security, they take a software approach, right? And by that time, you, 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 you integrate that software on the hardware that if it was built flawed, the flaw is going to show itself. Those compromises will already, will already exist, and people will use that to get access to your software, right? What Knox does, it took it uh, an alternate approach. It shifted the paradigm and focused on making the device themselves uh, secure. So the device are built uh, inherently secure, and there's layers upon layers that, of detection that happens before we actually get to the actual software side of the devices themselves. And because of that, we've implemented certain flags and certain uh, triggers that whenever a compromise is detected, the rest of the, 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 the solution itself is notified. So if I'm building an application um, and I detect that, that a compromise has happened, I can now, within my application, protect the sensitive data that exists and, and put mechanisms in place to make sure that it's no longer compromised. The security of that data, and we, we understand a lot of personal data is floating within the cloud, with just in um, daily interactions, right? So it's important to us. So and that's why Knox is important because it's inherently secure. And we took security as, as priority number one with Knox, and then there's a suite of solutions that build off of security. Thank you guys so much for coming in the studio, hanging out with us today, talking about customization. And thank you so much for tuning in. To learn more, go to samsung.com slash Knox.